Okay. I think we're a go, you guys. It was a little bit of a bumpy start. I'm also not sure what's going on. There we go. I'm going to go auto cam. So this is the... We're just going to jump right into it, I guess. Okay. Uh, this is the NASEF Winter Spring 2021 Rocket League season with the West Division. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and jump into the... Uh, into the, the game right here. A bit of a, a bumpy start here. But a couple things to talk about here is that um, this stream is running on a three minute delay. You can see that in the top right corner um, just because that is the tournament rule set. Um, and also we have another match that's going simultaneously at the same time. It is over at our other Twitch account, which is Twitch TV. Mr. Wood underscore LSHS. So if you're interested in going and watch the other game, this is one of the Lake Steven squads. These guys are buddies. They're playing together. And if I remember correctly, I believe, let me double check, but I'm pretty sure that this is the game against the... No, it's not. So this game is against the um, uh, Pioneers Varsity Squad from Lehigh High School. Over on the other stream, if you are watching that, uh, we are playing against the, let me refresh my memory, I'm playing against the Seattle Public Library uh, Varsity Squad, I believe, and there is my controller rumble. So we got a Varsity Squad going on here, and I'm pretty sure that this is a um, round robin tournament. These three players, actually, for the Lake Stevens team, um, all were players in the recent uh, Washington State Scholastic Esports Association League of Legends tournament. So this is their second um, run into uh, uh, esports. But I don't know how much that translates into Rocket League. We'll find out. Got some aerials from the... I need to get this one more one more time so I don't keep messing it up the Lehigh High School varsity squad so I'm just gonna say Lehigh and Lake Stevens to make it simple from here on out Two minutes in and we have a three point lead for the Lehigh team and I'm pretty sure that this tournament is a best of five. Um, and it looks like at the same time the other team is having a hard time fielding uh, all of their players, so let me check really quickly that everything's going. See if I can uh, turn off my rumble really quickly. Probably gonna miss a point in doing this. I'm not gonna see. I'm just gonna just gonna sit it on my. Varsity squad from Lehigh already five to zero with three points or uh, three minutes in, two minutes left in the game. Playing defense a little bit too far in the goal there, game in Printa. Nice try though.
<laughs> Ooh, that's promising. They got defense, though. Game a little one-sided for the Lehigh side of things. Makes sense. The varsity squad. Not that our guys aren't good players. It's just that uh, you know they clear, they have an established order of things. Whereas these guys uh, kind of put together a squad about a week ago. That was true for the League of Legends tournament as well. <laughs> As round one goes to Lehigh seven to zero. And it sounds like, by the way, the um, the other stream seems to be having some difficulty, so we will not be streaming that simultaneously, but they have, uh, strangely enough, I almost joined a team on accident. Hey, look at that, first point goes to Lake Stevens around two. Anyway, in the other game, the gold Viking squad, strangely enough, uh, it's playing a 2v2 right now. The other team wasn't able to field all three players. And so we ultimately agreed to go 2v2 instead of 3v2. In. The score is one to one in this second round. Things are going a little bit, uh, a little bit smoother now. Uh oh! Oh no! Missed the block and the goal. <laughs> nice try. Two high bounces off the top there. We've got Yankee in the corner. Another shot on goal by King Tidge. Still too high, but if someone can secure it, looks like not. It's going to be bouncing around the corner over here now. Yankee with a little jostle. Continues to roll. A good shot by King Tidge rolling into the corner. Not able to grab the boost, but it doesn't matter because the Lake Stevens player swings a little bit too high and misses the ball along the edge right here. <laughs> nice try, though. Score is 3 to 1 with 3 minutes and 20 seconds left in the second. Second game. Jockeying for position in front of the orange goal. An aerial shot by Carrot. Macho Waffles and I can't see the game in printer. Trying to block. Yankee jostling around a little bit there. 
wet master knocks it up into the corner. Yankee with an aerial down into the blue side of the field where Carrots is playing defense. Oh, no. Oh, Carrots almost scores on themselves. Man, the, uh, the auto-directed camera on this game is really incredible. Knocks it across the goal, but Carrots could not able to uh, get the speed to knock it in. King Tiz trying to go for an aerial demo by Game and Printa. Shot on goal goes in the corner, jostling King Tidge out of position. Carrots pushes it across the way. Almost smacked in by Sweatmaster. Game and Printer throws it down the field. A nice shot on goal. Oh, it's just a little bit too wide. Ball almost hits the camera. Sweatmaster knocks it in the corner. King Tidge bringing it down into the orange side of things. Knocked out of the way by Game and Printer. But the blue team has got some defensive presence right now, and they are sweeping it with the uh, boost around the side. Oh, Macho Waffles with a good defensive aerial there. And Yankee knocking it out of the goal. It's set up for a shot by Sweatmaster, but not capitalized by uh, Carrot, was what it looked like. King Tiz with a good aerial on the corner. Game and Printer getting jostled around there by Sweatmaster. Macho Waffles is able to knock it into the center of blue territory, but not able to capitalize punched deep into the orange side of the field in the corner. A little bit of a jostle by both both teams there. One minute left. This game is a lot closer than it was before. Three to one with 53 seconds left. King Tish coming in with the aerial. Shot by Sweatmaster, but it's knocked back to midfield. But Carrots is bringing it back around the corner. Trying to... Oh, no! Macho Waffles gives him the angle into the goal. If there was one thing that I learned... Uh, you know, it's been several years since I played Rocket League, but there was a mantra that I always told myself when I was playing Rocket League, and that was this. Just because you can hit the ball doesn't mean you should hit the ball. Sometimes it's your touch that gives the ball the angle that it needs to score on yourself. Uh-oh. Like Steven kind of knocking themselves around. King Tidge is able to grab the shot right over the head of Game and Printer by the looks of it. Spirals back to his side of the field. 18 seconds left. It is 5 to 1. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the second round is probably going to go to uh, Beehive here, I would imagine. One nice um, shot on goal at the very beginning by Macho Waffles makes it not a blowout like last time. But um, I will say they're playing a little bit better defense this time around. Ooh, some nice dribbling by Yankee. King Tish plays patiently, though, and doesn't give them the shot that they want. Oh, man, if this ends up being a goal here... Oh, almost a goal, but it doesn't matter. Lehigh takes the second round. A lot closer that time around, though. 5-1 to one with some good defense on the uh, Lake Stevens side. It's uh, best 3 out of 5. I'm going to go show them. <laughs> Dead ball in the middle there. King Tish takes a shot. Game and Printa in the corner. Almost capitalized. Bounces off of both corners of the orange goals, uh, the orange goal posts. We're gonna let the auto camera do its thing. Rolling out in front of the orange goal, but Lehigh not able to push it in. Dribbling it around the corner, a good block by Carrots. Oh, an excellent shot, but it's not enough. 
Not enough speed on the aerial from uh, Yankee, unfortunately, but it was a really good angle nonetheless, bouncing off the ceiling into a dangerous position for Lake Stevens. Slowly rolling its way. Yankee gets a demo there. We're rolling it around the corner and a big punch sends it back towards the Lake Stevens side. That's probably a point right there, yeah. Just too many Lake Stevens people on the wrong side of the pitch for that one. A good, a good aerial by Carrots. And Yankee not able to grab it. Oh, no. A very good aerial by Carrots. Great score. Missed an aerial on the Lehigh side of things. Oh no! <laughs> Oh no, it doesn't matter though, it bounces up over the defender. <clears throat> Excuse me. An awkward bounce, Game and Printer not able to get the height they need. Yankee swinging a miss there, but there is the the jostle there. Game and Printa strangely knocking it back towards the goal. Oh, 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 bounces off the rim twice. A miraculous occurrence for the Lake Stevens goalkeeper there, almost scoring on themselves. Yankee tries to aerial, misses it. Sweatmaster almost able to aerial it in, but the teammates are able to come and finish it up right after this. Score is five to zero with a minute and forty-seven seconds left. Oh my gosh! Carrots almost gets the shot. Free shot. Uh, another shot bounces off the top of the goalpost out in front of the Lake Stevens goal. Carrots comes flying in. I guess that wasn't Carrots, forgive me. Macho Waffles jostling it off. King Tiz just throwing off his aerials at this point. Sweatmaster knocking it back for a pass to Carrots. Takes the aerial. Wow, what a great shot. Bounces off the, the post though. Yankee flying past. Macho Waffles contests it, pushes it into the blue side of the pitch. But it's knocked back. 
by Lehigh. Macho Waffles careful to knock it into the corner, not towards the goal. Bounced off halfway up the pitch. What a great shot by King Tidge. Almost connects with that goal, but once again, just a close goal uh, post shot instead. Macho Waffles and Gaiman for the um, fighting each other for the ball in that in that spot there. Aerial shot by Karatsk again. Bounces off that rim, but it looks like they're able to uh, rebound and send it into that left side of the goal instead. <laughs> a team shot going on there. Forty seconds left. Score is six to zero. Yankee almost gets uh, a shot on the goal there, but bounces off the side of the post instead. Oh, they're scoring on themselves. Not sure if that was on purpose or not. <laughs> Look, it kind of looked like it was. I think maybe they feel a little bit bad. Either that or they're just trolling a little bit. I get a whoops and a no, 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 so it probably was an accident. Ooh, some really good ball control by Sweatmaster here. Oh my gosh! Just dribbling it on the on the hood. Nice and slow. Not letting it get out of his control. Very nice. Punches it in with the bottom side of the car as well. That was one of the cleanest plays I've seen so far. Alright, Vikings, let's get let's get one on the board. A nice entry shot. I think that was uh, Game and Printer who, who did that one. Maybe it was Macho Waffles, not really sure. Oh, and we're styling now. Look at that aerial. Bounces off the edge. Oh, Sweatmaster doesn't get the style points. And Carrots tries to connect it. Or Gaming Tidge tries to connect it. And there it is, you guys. That is the third round uh, of the match, which means it was a best of five. So it is over. The first uh, That game goes to Lehigh High School. Um... Thank you, Lehigh, for the game. It was fun to watch. Uh, definitely got some some uh, some players on their side of things. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to exit out of this game, and I'm going to try to see if I can join the other game. All right, here we are. We're back. We're in another match now. I have no idea how it's been going. But it looks like Lake Stevens won this one. <clears throat> so the uh, Gold Viking squad over here on this side of things is doing, uh, looks like this final score was four to two. Uh, the orange team is Lake Stevens. And the blue team is Seattle Public Library. <clears throat> So I'm pretty sure that was the second match, or the second round. I don't know what terminology to use here. Um, and the reason I say that is because they played a 2v2 for the first round. And that one ended a 3v3, so. We probably are in round three now. Deadly Aerial reversing, trying to get some defense out across the goal, knocks it over the SPL team. It's bounced back towards the goal. Caden is able to knock it out of the way. Deadly Aerial tries to give it a kick back to move it away from the goal. Caden in, in goal range now, but doesn't have any boost. Demoed by Static from the SPL team, and Deadly Aerial punches it in with a beautiful pass from Blizzard. Nice job, Blizzard with the little bug car. I love the bug car, it's very fun. A great pass by uh, Blizzard over in front of the goal for Deadly Aerial to capitalize. Oh, okay, jostled there. I thought that the SPL team was gonna get a shot there. 
Deadly Ariel! Oh, that was a great aerial from Ario. Deadly Ariel. I'm just gonna call him Deadly to make it simple. A great aerial from Deadly, but uh, just knocks it the wrong direction just a little bit. Almost able to bounce it up over the goalie for the SPL team, but Static with Keys is able to dribble it down without a defender in sight. Just get a nice little boost lead on Kaden, who you can see there doesn't have the boost to catch up. Tested in the middle. A miss by Static with Keys. Oh, Blizzard takes the shot! Blizzard gets the second goal of the round at the top right corner off of a miss from the goalie from the SPL team. An assist from uh, Blizzard to Deadly in that last point, and an assist from Deadly to Blizzard in that point. Right, knocked up into the center of the pitch. SPL takes it and knocks it down towards the goal. Deadly playing defense, able to knock it into the corner. So Static and uh, Kale Brown aren't able to capitalize. A demo from Static takes Deadly out of the way. He was dribbling it down towards the uh, goal. <clears throat> Blizzard flies into the blue goal. Caden now trying to get it into position. It's blocked by Static with keys, knocked into the middle. Kale Brown and Static taking the ball down the middle of the pitch. Caden and Deadly dive in to block it. Deadly gets a nice little uh, baby tap. <laughs> a big jump and a miss by uh, Blizzard again. Caden is able to put themselves into the front of the goal. Deadly up in the air. Eh, no, con no contestation from the SBL side of things. Uh, a dribble by Static. Deadly knocks it over the top. The goalie for SBL is in position. <clears throat> Shot by Deadly misses the angle just barely. Blizzard loops around. Misses with the bug car. Caden's there to jostle it up into the air. Kale Brown tries to punch it towards the goal but misses all three Lake Stevens players in, in this corner position here. Static with Keys almost had a shot on goal by themselves but wasn't able to connect and then the uh, bobble up in front of the goal, Deadly Aerial was able to push it out of the way. It's knocked deep into the blue side. A demo by Kale Brown on Deadly again. Wouldn't be surprised if at this point some of these demos might be a little bit targeted. Uh, Deadly, you can see from here, is rated as Elite Challenger. He also was the one who put in the most goals from the last match. And he's got two goals from this match and an assist with the point from uh, Blizzard. Deadly Ario says, okay. I do not think that Deadly thought they were going to get that point there. Gets a nice look at that... Uh, pulsating, colorful skin that he has. Caden gets demoed by Static. Deadly knocks it back into the back left corner of the pitch. Oh! The uh, SPL defense missed the shot and uh, the missed the block and Deadly was almost able to position for a point, but wasn't able to uh, hit the spot eventually. But Deadly Ariel punches it in again. That's three points for Deadly in this round. With an assist. Now, Deadly's scoring all these points here, but uh, we had the uh, pass assist from Blizzard for the first point, and also Caden has been flying in on these uh, on these uh, to contest the ball at the beginning of each uh, round, point, match, whatever you want to call it, each point. And also, we've seen him make a number of defensive saves back here when the ball finds itself on the Lake Stevens side of the pitch. Blizzard misses there. Caden and Ariel are now. Slowly pushing it down the court. It almost is uh, knocked by Seattle Public Library. Deadly Aereo is doing some aerials here. And Blizzard with the shot. That's two points for Blizzard. Another assist from Deadly Aereo. The bug car is able to find, find a lane right between SPL's defense. Oh my gosh. I just realized that Blizzard has... Gladys the Potato from Portal 2 on her antenna. That is incredible. 
Deadly Aerial playing a little bit safe here. Caden and Deadly positioning themselves in a defensive position next to the goal, but Deadly Aerial finds himself all alone with a long court. Five points, uh, make that four points for Deadly, two points for Blizzard, and we've got the one SBL point coming from Static with Kings. Oh, Deadly almost able to clip that contest and knock it towards the goal, but defended by, I think it was, Jay Lewis, actually. Kale Brown on the defense, able to get a nice aerial block away from the goal. It's loading gently towards the middle of the court, punched towards Caden in the corner, who doesn't seem to have any boost right now. Fortunately able to get the hit to knock it towards, oh, a demo on Blizzard from... Kale Brown. I think I think Kale Brown's the main person who's doing these demos. Completely valid. And Deadly with a beautiful block. Ariel is just waiting for it. The positioning was perfect there. Blizzard in the bug car pushing up. Oh, both cars miss. Caden gets a little punch up into the air. J. Lewis demos Caden. One second left, and that will be the match. Lake Stevens wins this round. Four, uh, six to one. I think that was the last match, you guys. Let me check here really quickly. I think that was it. I think that was it. I think that was 3-0. 3-0 Lake Stevens. I I'm the only person in here, so it must be. Okay, yes. I'm seeing that they won the first three. Hey, you guys. There you go. So our purple squad, which was um, Macho Waffles, Game and Printa, and let me remind myself, Yankee, um, an unfortunate 0-3, a pretty strong performance from the Lehigh Varsity team. I guess it's, we don't really know how to uh, determine how skillful our players are versus how skillful the other players are. It's not like a, um, an established um, like basketball or volleyball or something where a high school's uh, performance is pretty well known. So um, really no way for us to really know uh, how that matchup truly looked. But this matchup definitely obviously favored the like Steven side. Um, some good defensive plays by Caden. Some good offensive goals by uh, Blizzard and Deadly as well as some good assists on both sides as well. All right. That's all I have for you guys. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.